This is bacteria collected from the centrifuge. And we're going to take some swabs and we're going to release it in the grass. In the canal as well, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, they're taking on a new life. They are, aren't they? Well, um, this project is a collaboration between myself and my students. Um, 25 students in all the, uh, the BioArt, Contemporary Art and Life Sciences class at the University of Leiden. And um, through this mixed group, we have really um, together experienced a variety of biotechnological protocols in the lab. And now with the skills that the students have garnered, they have developed individual projects and they are ready to present their own work in the public sphere, but then also to represent the protocols to other non-specialists. And our audience members will include people certainly in the arts community, but also the scientific community, and um, we're hoping for a general public as well, people who are walking their dogs, um, school children. We've invited a number of schools to bring their children for a, a picnic. Um, so to take this uh, small action of allowing non-specialists to come into the lab into a much larger public arena. So we'll be giving people this sheet. We'll give them one, maybe two bacteria dishes, one or two of these. For example, one of the protocols we will perform is a DNA extraction. And I want people to see firsthand that DNA is a substance, it is a chemical, it is not explosive, it's not infectious, um, and it's in every living cell on the planet. At every table wants to grab one kiwi. So one kiwi for every table. And it's, um, so for us to extract it and have this substance um, outside of the lab, on the one hand, it might be very overwhelming for people, but second, um, secondly, I think it'll demystify and um, bring uh, people's relationships with DNA uh, to a much more embodied relationship rather than a digital fear-based relationship. It's okay? Yeah. yeah. But there's the uh, years of Er zitten twee lagen, eigenlijk donker en wat lichter. En daartussen zitten witte sliertjes en dat is één. De essence of kiwi. Specialists, of artists, of, of um, uh, gentlemen scientists, of, of, of amateur science production. Well, they are the gentlemen in this uh, gentleman society. I did want to try something uh, shocking, just to to see if I could do that and um, uh, see how I would do that. And then I was looking for blood because I wanted to, uh, I wanted to work with blood. And then the the sheep hearts and livers came up because they contain the most blood. Is that even the scientists themselves have twelve steps removal from the viscosity of life? Yeah, and she's the natural I'm one. I'm the natural and happy bunny. I was born in a cage. I never, I never saw natural reality. So that said, there are the graduate students who end up doing a lot of the culling of the animals have a very immediate, direct relationship with the viscosity of life. But as they escalate through the scientific system, and as they become colder and more impersonalized to the process, um, that relationship changes. Maybe I can open up the cage for you. <laughs> they don't want. They don't allow me to go outside because I'm modified. I'm not a normal oh. one. Bacteria is a perineum. Volgens protocol. You can use this like a tape. Okay. Little piece.
but um, I need to continually reconnect myself to what I'm doing and really examine it and examine my, my role in that to understand if I feel my actions are ethical at that moment. And that, that means sometimes I go over the line and sometimes it's too much. As I said earlier, I'm interested in re-embodying biotechnology. And I think that if we switch the language that we use to describe biotech in the public sphere, it will allow people to understand their relationship to that technology in a different way. Kijk, onder de microscoop moeten ze zich voelen, want het is best wel een heftig proces om daar bolletjes in te zetten. Ja, hoe ze voelen, hoe ze nou, het, is, het is zelf stress. Het is gewoon stress. Wat je, wat je geeft. Wat, wat je... zie je dan als ze zich niet lekker voelen? Ja, dan wordt ze een beetje klein en een ja, beetje crunchy. Half millimeter bij half millimeter. Uh, small pieces of your petal. Het is een beetje knife of something. If you um, put one bacteria in a dish of agar, and that agar is the nutrients for that bacteria, it will consume that uh, nutrient until the entire dish is filled with bacteria and it has exhausted all of its resources and then it will die. So our action is not unnatural, actually. Mm -hmm. And I see the laboratory actions as an extension of that consumption. So my critique is dialogic and flips and flops and says we need to acknowledge what we're doing and analyze what we're doing, but not I'm not suggesting that what we're doing is entirely unnatural. Thanks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>